Okay, just going to show you how um, the gear control system works on the automatic Scanners. Uh, as you can see now, um, possibly we're in neutral, and there's a display up on the top here. Um, shows two ends. That means it's in neutral. Uh, if you want to go to drive, you click the collar on the right-hand side here forward, and you'll see an A for automatic will appear, and it's auto four here. And you can actually drive away at that if you if you require. Um, another little thing to notice is um, below that is like another looks like two little arrows on the right hand stalk here if you click that you'll see that the AP on this um, the A on this model now changes to AP now that's like a performance mode now uh, the owner of the vehicle when he orders one of these he can specify different specifications um, so some have performance mode like this vehicle some of them have an eco mode and you might find when the eco mode you think the performance has gone off on it but it's it's really the most economical way to drive it takes a few more minutes um, for the vehicle to do its job but it's running very fuel efficiently um, and it's worth you know worth persevering with it if you're not in a big hurry um, if you want to go to reverse the collar you push it in slightly and turn it back towards you and you'll see a double R and a two will come in now if you push the stalk down for you know a couple of seconds you'll see it change to RRM which is actually a lower um, gear to reverse and makes it a lot more controllable when you're trying to reverse onto a bay um, when you want to go out of reverse just click it back to normal and there it goes we're back in neutral again now um, you know a lot of people get confused with how all this works um, but it's really very very simple um, I think if you've got one that has a performance mode in not really required even up to 44 tons um, I think most many uh, most purchases of these vehicles now are specifying the eco mode uh, as a secondary and I think that's a good thing it just takes a little bit of patience by the driver and a little bit of learning how to use it properly